Good afternoon, morning, special seekers and bargain and dumbers. Today is your day. Today is your time to shine because there's a clearance sale going on at EPTEC right now. And instead of doing a top 10 where I would have only cover 10 of all 195 of the specials and items of clearance, I'm instead going to do like a way more candid thing and just go through each category and be like, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. And tell you why it's nice. Is that thing that'll be helpful, maybe? Okay, so category number one, headsets. Um, there's some cool HP looking things. This one's got a detachable mark on it for 80 bucks. I kind of want to buy one just because it's got a detachable, <laughs> detachable mark for 80 Rand. But from these in here, I did see an rosy set. These Mad Cats are also pretty good. If you do like in ears and stuff, uh, then these are, I know these are actually pretty good. Um, there was a set though from, these are also not bad, the Hebe. P1As, these also not bad. I have used a set, but these were the ones that caught my eye. And well, obviously the high end HP Omen and stuff, but the only one that's left now is the mind frame. So yeah, uh, you might want to get in there quickly. These should also be pretty decent for 300 odd Rand that they cost like these uh, entry level HP stuff. It should be kind of okay, to be honest. They've been doing quite well with Omen stuff lately. So I got a bit more like confidence and stuff in them. Section number two, gaming chairs. Um, a rosy, kind of nice. A lot of the stuff, honestly, is very good bang for buck. These are normally like six grand. So that's also like the discounts on this stuff is like disgusting. Uh, Nitro Concepts X1000s. These are criminally underrated. They are, I've reviewed this uh, specific one over here. They're normally four and a half, uh, three grand. These are some of the best and most comfortable chairs I've ever sat on, honestly. Um, the higher end series and stuff should be quite similar, but I know specifically X1000 is like Sean and R. The S300s do look really nice. I'm surprised Nitro gets so little love, honestly. Vitigear is also pretty good, bang for the buck. Once again, another respawn chair. These are like way more expensive. So if you want a Fortnite theme thing, now's the time to get it. And I also noticed a Rosie Verona is also on special. I'm currently in a Velocita. Uh, which is normally about three triple nine. I don't see those on special, but the Verona is like a high end edition than what I've got right now. I've had my chair now for a considerable amount of time since the review. It's been absolutely fantastic. Another brand that just doesn't get enough love. Moving on to the mice. This is where things get a little spicy. Cords, ascended cords, brand new, out the box. Normally 300 bucks, 50 Rand, 50 bucks. Marvo, sure. Um, Cerberus isn't bad for 100 bucks. If you need something good for the office, etc., 100 bucks. Not going to go wrong there. Um, these are actually really good. These uh, Pulsefire FPS Pros are actually really good, like genuinely good. The, this as well. This is where I was like, what? For a little bit. XM1Rs. These are like really good. Really good mouse. It's got the 3370 pixel for 500 Rand. Similarly, these have the 3369 or the um the one just before that if i remember correctly also very good the m17 these are basically model o's the sensor everything is exactly the same except it's 600 rand and um, they are slightly heavier these are 80 gram if i remember correctly it says 104 on the page but that's including the cable weight i don't know why rosie did that terrible marketing uh but the mouse itself is actually pretty damn good uh rock impact 2 also not bad but yeah xm1 also amazing Harpoon, eh. This is the Sabre, sorry, RGB Pro. Mm, mm, eh. But the XM1 and the XM1R and the Arosis and the M17. These are all ridiculously good mouse at like half the price of what they are normally. So yeah, those are those are very, very attractive. In the gaming accessories, I actually would buy one of these. I'm probably gonna ask them to just put one to the side just to have like a nice little three meter cat six for landing and stuff. Kind of nice to have. Like these will be extremely high quality and like packet loss what basically uh if you want some like the best cable you can have between your pc and thing here it is for 40 rand um what else is there uh, this was also called my eye was kind of cool a vga 1080p adapter from a usb type c kind of nice maybe to have very old with the very new which is <laughs> pretty sick i don't know why this is here because it should be in the mouse section. Um, this is the, the GT80s are quite nice. These are basically carbon copies of PS4 controllers. Um, but 
300 bucks for wireless, etc. They do also work on PC. You can connect them. They're not as nice as the GT64, but at that price, it's kind of hard to ignore it. The spheres as well in these microphones are like very, they were pretty good for a thousand bucks at like half the price. You're not going to find something better for 500 Rand. In motherboards though, we've got some spicy boys. B560 MA Pro, this is like super cheap. You can slap an 11400F on there and just kind of go to town. The B560 specifically have memory overclocking, unlike the B460s. These are you know if there's specific sets and feature sets and stuff on there that you are looking for then do get that if you're not worried about the memory overclocking but just a little bit more you can start looking here and i did also notice in the bottom left this was my pick of the lot the z590 torpedo <laughs> really nice board we just got our z690 torpedo these are great price versus performance like the torpedoes let me just actually go into it the torpedoes are like very very nice specs i like this in the tomahawk quite a lot now i'd like for MSI price versus performance, these are just about the best. Um, they should have yeah, 2.5 giga LAN. It's going to have an absolute ton of PCI Express on it as well, because they do do that. Great overclocking profiles. It is 1200, so you can put an 11900K on there. Should be pretty good. Got uh, dual M.2 cooling as well. Nice little bit of RGB. I like the style of these as well. The blue fits really nicely with our background. So, yeah, that's. Um, it wasn't a total. Yes, I also made an aesthetic decision with the board that we use on the test bench. Okay, PC cases has a few nice things as well. Specifically, the flux. The, this out of the lot was really eye catching because five 120 more fans included. You don't even have to buy upgraded cooling to have a pretty decent build. Full mesh front as well. So, airflow in the front and everything is going to be cool. There's a little deer key, a little uh, deer up the front, deer, 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 deer um, with a old ODD slot even, but you can remove it and then put water cooling up top. Um, you can put in big boy GPUs, as you can see, that go up to 405 if I don't if I remember correctly, for the max GP length. So this case has got pretty sick dimensions. You can fit in the big boy Noctua as well. They've also checked for that. You can see they width it up a touch, put the IO on top there, comes with the controller and stuff for the fans. You get three RGBs and then one over there and one over there. I would switch that out to put it at the top over there. Don't know about that placement, but three in, two out is going to be pretty good. Just off the back foot for 800 bucks with a glass side panel. Seems stupidly cheap. Thrustmaster is also throwing out some pretty cool stuff, especially the pro. pro the, this is this is sick at this amount of money. It's actually kind of disgusting for a thousand, a whole thousand five hundred rand. And yeah, then you can swap out basically wherever you want. You could you can see the idea. You get the concept. Very very cool for the money. Honestly, I'm reviewing some controllers and stuff right now that aren't as well specced as this that cost almost as much. So yeah, at this current price, I think. It's bit mental t80s as well also a lot of fun there's a review here from your boy so if you want to check that out um, but a lot of fun and quite easy to interface with a lot of games speakers basically if you're looking for a little desktop set i have heard these that are pretty damn good this is just like the same same but in a different format pretty much and then these are like the more premium you know more stylistic ones monster audio i would love to have tested these actually um i don't know why i didn't get a copy of set of those to test just looking at you, you dead. How dare you? But these I have tested and they are quite nice and they've got decent battery life and everything. And yeah, the built in mic and the IP X5 certified means you can sweat on them in the gym and take your phone calls and they're not going to break. PSU, one lonely little Antec 550 watt 80 plus cold though means it's going to get 92% of that efficiency. So it's really good for like mid-range builds. If you've got a six core and like a decent mid-range GPU, like a 6600 XT or even a 3060, it should run quite nicely. And seven year local warranty, but before I leave you, there's still like a crazy amount of steel series things on special. These are the best wireless headset still that i've tested ever you want to know what the best is there it is right there that literally is i love the 7p the dongle and stuff and the way it interfaces with the pc and the phone and then the playstation as well it's just like I'm, I'm, oh it's so good this is this is the best wireless headset you can buy right now 
as far as like wireless plus headset plus you know that full kind of like package checkbox it's not the best audio quality but the wireless and the battery untouchable untouchable honestly like just kind of sick um uh, this is also quite nice i spoke about that last time apex 5 at this price is also mental but the ugh, it's prime wireless there we go that's exactly what i was going to refer to this thing and honestly the prime pl prime plus this right now for a thousand rand that's the best mouse you can buy it is there is no mouse at a thousand bucks even with the specials etc there's nothing there's nothing that compares to that that thing Oh, it's good it's so so good anywho that's the end of that uh, yeah a little bit more candid just so i can cover more because 10 was never going to cut the mustard there are reviews still coming up later in the week i do have this sucker over here which i'll just use my chest as a flattening point so it, it looks at it for you and doesn't just cut it out because like look at that how annoying right but yes um there you go this is the thing uh it's pretty good so far it's been quite quite fun um very good stuff from turtle beach oh, you kind of expected being turtle beach and the price point but they've actually they've, they've made value there which is which is quite nice um i do have another razor mouse i'm gonna be doing a short video uh probably for friday as well just to show you uh, a couple of guys have asked about the trio and we finally got a con new controller for it so i can show you how to do the rgb and sync etc I uh, do have some other components on the motherboard which are already synced so you'll be able to see them all working together. I'll explain all of that to you and how that's all going to work. So until next time, stay safe, keep well, and I'll see you on the flip side. So that's been me browsing clearance. I am not going to be buying another mouse. I've promised myself that um, I'm going to even sell the current one I have before I buy another one. So yeah, until then.